Hi guys, this is Chef Faz Khan and we are back with another incredible recipe today. We will be making wedge malai kofta today. It is very special, very easy to make and you will enjoy this video. Start off with oil in one big pan around one, one and a half big tablespoon. Goes in. Yeah, goes in. Soon as it starts to sizzle, one onion slice goes in. We don't have to brown the onion, we just have to make it a little transparent. Tomato cut into dice, goes in. slit goes in. Red chilli powder will go in. You can put whole red chilli as well. Goes in. You can put whole ginger and garlic as well. Six to seven cashew nut will go in. One cup full of water and allow them to cook nicely. After the preparation of kofta. We'll take around 50 to 60 gram block of paneer and we'll crumb it nicely. Whole boiled potato which is grated will go in. 60 to 70 gram of processed cheese will go in. We'll chop green chilies and finely chop ginger. Dash of pepper, black pepper powder. Half teaspoon of dhania powder. One tablespoon of corn flour. And add some mix, roughly chopped dry fruits. This step is optional. And mix all of them nicely. Water is starting to dry. It is the time you switch the gas off and allow it to cook for some. Allow it to cool down so that you can blend it easily. your hand wet, pull the stuffing out and make balls according to your preference. You can make it round, you can make it oblong, any shape you like. Take a shallow pan and we'll pour in oil to deep fry. And we'll go one by one into hot oil. If you have little time, you can after making this ball, you can put it into refrigerator as well so that it forms up a little more. You don't have to over touch the balls. You can just sh keep shaking the pan a little so it sort of swirls around. Very delicate hand because they are ultra soft and tender. You can keep splashing oil like this so that it gets even color from the top as well. Very, very delicate hand. See. By the time our kofta is getting fried, we will take our gravy mixture, put in the mixer, mixer grinder. So they get nice golden brown color like this. You can drain all the excess oil and take them. We will strain out the gravy into the pan. gravy out of it. We will put in around 100 gram of fresh cream. Finally, salt, Finish. sugar just to enhance all the flavor, the final consistency that we are looking for. Thick. Plate. Always remember. Never put your kofta into the gravy because there are high chances of it to break. Always put the kofta first on the plate and start putting the gravy from the side. was the recipe for today it is vegetarian malai kofta and it is finger licking good i'm trying you this is the one recipe which you are looking out for if you are a vegetarian it's a vegetarian delight hope all are keeping well that's it from this side best of luck and enjoy keep watching cfk oh